to give you a little update on some things going on around here. Um, the little kangaroo is fitting in, as you can see. Everyone says, Gabby, what do you think of her? Do you not like her? No, oh, I like her. She's pretty cool. Um, she cuddles with me now and then. I'll allow her to cuddle with me. She has way too much energy for me, though, because I just sit back and let her and Maggie play. Like, hey, I'm happy that Maggie has a playmate. That way... Maggie's not in my face all the time wanting to play ball, and I get to rest. You know, I'm like 10 years old, so I like to sleep a lot. That's what's going on in my life right now is I like to sleep and just enjoy relaxation. Anyhow, so the, the little kangaroo also went to that specialist last week, the internist, and they did ultrasounds and uh, lots and lots of blood work again. And uh, it's coming back that um, she is vitamin B deficiency at this point. And, um, you know, she was on um, medicine for five months. She's only nine months old. For five months straight, they had her on a, um, like um, uh, moxicillin and stuff um, because she had worms and she had um, gerardia. I think that's what you call it. Anyhow, so being on medicine for five months kind of like... Um, it, it took a toll on its stomach, her stomach and her intestines. So, um, so that's the issues that we're dealing with with her. Um, Mama says it's going to just take time with probiotics. And she gets uh, shots now weekly. And she gets some other stuff um, for it all. So she's on the road to recovery, hopefully. Uh, she was supposed to be spayed in two weeks. Uh, but that had to get postponed because um, she went into heat. I'm not sure what that is, because I never went into heat, um, but it, she's wearing diapers around the house right now. Yeah, it's kind of like, what the heck? And she can wiggle out everything. So if you have any suggestions on how to keep um, diapers on, Mama mama tried sweaters with little uh, hooky things to hook to the diapers, and now she's putting these pads and these little jumpsuits that she's wearing. She looks silly. Yeah, it's silly, but Mama said it has to be, because if not, she's making a mess all over the house, and we'd rather not have that. So... Yeah, so we're dealing with that right now. So now her, um, she's getting spayed. Yeah, we're going to definitely have her spayed. But she can't be spayed until the end of February now because that's what the vet suggested. She has to wait until we get through this cycle and uh, it calms down a little bit. So that's what's going on with her. As far as me, I'm still having my little spots all over my body and I'm breaking out. So I have an appointment with the dermatologist um, coming up. But that, they couldn't get me in until um, February for that. And then on top of it, I'm going to see my internist specialist in uh, two weeks um, to see about my gallbladder and to see how I'm doing there. So that's going on. Mama has a lot of health issues with those guys going on. Um, got Maggie, actually, guess what? Knock on wood, but this, this little kangaroo is helping out Maggie big time. Like, they went to get their nails cut, and the last two times that Maggie went to get her nails cut, even at the Fear Free Groomer, uh, Maggie had a seizure. So... It was alarming to mom. She's like, it's never happened. Why is it going on? So anyhow, yesterday, they had to go get their nails cut again. And she took um, the kangaroo with her. And guess what? Maggie didn't even have a seizure there. She was so distracted about what the kangaroo was doing running around at the shop. that And the lady cut her nails, Miss Leanne, and no issues whatsoever. And even the kangaroo didn't even have an issue. Yeah, she was really sweet and left her cut her nails. So Miss Leanne was like, they were wonderful today. So it was a good experience. So... I'm thinking the little kangaroo is helping Maggie with her anxiety big time and just keeping her distracted all the time. Now mama can actually walk out of the house without hearing a dog cry because they're playing. So it's all working out. So I just wanted to give you an update. I know it's been a long time since I really talked. Um, just a lot going on. When you have a new puppy, it's just it's chaos in the house, guys. There's toys everywhere. It is like you're tripping on toys, as Stan would say, or you're tripping on a dog. Oh my. Yeah. But we're loving her, and uh, she's fitting right in, as you can tell. So, hey, have a great day. What are you guys up to today? Anything fun? Let us know.